Are you looking to take your After Effects work to the next level within a few clicks? Well, don't worry. In this video, we're gonna go through five really cool, quick effects that you can use on pretty much any project to help you enhance your work and take it to the next level without much effort. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Hope you're doing excellent today. Please be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps us out tremendously. And for those of you that are ready to enhance your work in just a few clicks, let's jump in and let's take a look at these five quick effects. So the first effect I want to talk about here is posterized time, which is an effect that I like to use to help control the animation speed of different objects very quickly. So for example, I can grab one of the elements inside this composition, go to effect time and grab posterize time. And then all I need to do is change the frame rate. So maybe I'll set this down to 12. And for this element right here, it's gonna make the animation a bit more jumpy. So then what I can do is take this effect, copy it and paste it to other elements within my shots. And I can variate the frame rate even more. So maybe I go down to six, or whatever I choose to use. But, but by doing this, we're gonna create animation contrast between different objects in the scene. So just as a quick example, you can apply the posterized time effect to an overall project, but that's the equivalent of changing the frame rate of your project. So it's really best used when you're applying it to individual elements. And while we're here, this leads us to our next effect, which is adding camera shake. So what I like to do to add camera shake is very simple. We go to effect, stylize, and we grab motion tile. All right, and then all we do is alt click the stopwatch for tile center, and we type in wiggle, open privacy, maybe a two comma, you know, 50. And by default, we're gonna have these rough edges here. What we can do is check on mirror edges with the motion tile effect. So overall, the motion tile effect is gonna allow you to create this really seamless camera shake without having to extend your composition, without having to scale into your work and lose detail. It's just a quick, great way to add some camera shake into your work when needed. One of my more used effects is creating a flicker effect. And it's very easy to do this. There's two different ways you can create it. But the first way we can do it is go to effect, stylize, and we're gonna grab a glow. And then the only setting we need to take a look at here is the glow radius. We may want to adjust the glow radius so we can make this pop a little bit more. Your scene is just gonna depend. But when you have a glow in there that looks good, uh, you can alt click the stopwatch for glow radius. And once again, we're gonna type in wiggle, open privacy. Maybe we can do a two comma, you know, 50, I think that's fine. And now we have this overall flicker effect on our work and that looks really cool. Another way you can do this without having the glow effect, you know, be dominant here, we can just delete this and we go to effect, color correction, and we can grab brightness and contrast. This doesn't work for everything, the brightness and contrast effect, uh, but it can do a good job. So you can increase the brightness if you want of a specific element uh, and then do the same exact thing with the wiggle effect. So you can take a look at both of those effects. Before we move on, as you know, creating motion graphics from scratch takes so much time and it's just challenging. To help you get work done in under a minute, we have produced over 10,000 templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. For example, in our Pulse Pack, you can preview these really cool templates and then apply them to your project. From there, you can change the settings to your needs and bam, another project complete. To see all of our templates and start saving time right now, be sure to check our links below. So one of my more recent favorite effects that I've been using a lot is the CC Spotlight effect to help add contrast and further focus onto our project. So how this works is you go to Effect, uh, Perspective, and you grab CC Spotlight. It's very similar to a vignette effect, but you have a lot more control over this um, and how things are angled. So for example, when the CC Spotlight effect is selected, you're gonna get two anchor points. There's one dead here in the middle that's kind of hard to see, but you can click, you can move it around your composition, and you got one up here in the top right corner and you can move this around your comp as well. So you can start fine tuning how you want this beam of light to help affect your image. And there's a few other settings we can take a look at over here on the left. So the cone angle, we can decrease this and this will help uh, bring things in a little bit. Uh, you can increase or decrease the edge softness. I like to kind of keep that at its default settings. And then also we can darken down the image by increasing the intensity even further than 75. And if we zoom way out of our composition and we grab this anchor point and go all the way here in the top right, we're gonna get this straight beam from this effect. And then if we continue bringing down the cone angle of this, you know, we're gonna be able to really control how this light looks. So it's a really quick way to just add some quick brightness and contrast to your scene in a very controlled manner. So the last game changing effect that we have here is the noise effect, which is an amazing effect to help add extra detail and texture to your work. So for example, without any noise, we just have a very smooth and plain scene. Now it still looks good, but if you wanna add a little bit of extra texture to it, all you need to do is maybe create yourself an adjustment layer, go to layer, new adjustment layer. Then you go to effect, noise and grain, and you can add noise, or you can add a more popular uh, noise effect, which is noise HLS. And the reason why this is a good effect is because you have a lot more control over the noise. So for example, we come here to lightness, set this up to like 20%, and this will affect one area of your image and you have a few other options here. Uh, this is uniform setting, so it's gonna be pretty much a consistent pattern all the way through. 
you have squared, which I really like, and you also have grain. But what really makes this effect much different from the original noise effect is that you actually have to animate the noise, and that means you get to control the speed of how the noise moves. So we can all click stopwatch for noise phase, and we can type in time, asterisk, you know, maybe 50 or something like that of the sorts. And then you'll be able to have motion noise inside of your project to quickly add some texture and detail to your shot. So always be thinking about how you can use these effects in different ways for your own projects. And also let me know in the comments down below what effects that you use often to help you quickly enhance your work. I'm always looking out for new ideas as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on Cinematic Film. And always be creative.